Dear students, in this chapter triangle, we have already learnt about classification of triangles, triangle is possible or not, and angle sum property of triangle. Also in the previous discussion, we have discussed about type 1 and type 2 related question about this property that is exterior angle property. So today, we will start with type 3 questions, right? But before starting our topic, we will learn about, we will just quickly recall the properties, those properties we have done in our junior classes. So, first of all, just look at this figure first. So, now this is a shape of triangles and in this figure, three angles are forming inside the triangle. So, these are interior angles, right? So, now, just by this figure, which property is coming into your mind? That is angle sum property of triangles. This is sum of all angles of triangles will always add up to 180 degree, right? So now move on to second figure. So now by looking this figure, which property is coming to your mind? Yes, straight line property. Why straight line property? That is here AC is a straight line and BD is a ray which is making two angles here. So you will apply here sum of all angles of triangles, sum of all angles on a straight line will always add up to 180 degree, right? Now, come to the figure number 3. So, here you can see that a figure in which a triangle is given to you and this side of triangle has been extended to the point D. Now, which property is coming into your mind? That is exterior angle property, right? Which is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles, right? So now, today we will start the type 3 questions of this exterior angle property by using all these three properties. And any of these properties you can use for solving those sums, right? So now here you can see, I have taken example number first, right? And in this example, you can see here the figure ABC is a triangle and in which BC line has been extended to the point D, right? And it is making a triangle here, uh, an angle here, which is exterior angle of 120 degree, right? So now here you can see I have given the numbering to the figure, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. Now in this figure what you need to do, you need to find two angles. Earlier you have done the questions in which you, you are supposed to do, you are supposed to find the angle 1 or angle 2. But here you need to find two angles in one question. How you will solve this question? So first of all read the statement, read the figure in which they have already given to you angle 2 as 60 and angle 4 as 120. Here we need to find the value of this angle 1 as x and angle 3 as y. So that means here you need to find the value of x and y, right? So now here how you will solve this question. So here first of all you will see that what is given to you and you will just write over here, right? So here I have written an in a triangle ABC Angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3, and angle 4 is given to you, right? Now, what to do? How you will solve this question? First of all, just you think how you can solve this question. Which property you can apply here for solving this question? Which property? Yes, which property is coming to your mind? Because we are doing the exterior angle property sum. So, that means exactly the exterior angle property you will apply or any other property you can apply here for solving the sum. Yes. First of all, I'm sure that one property is coming to your mind that is exterior angle property. So now why exterior angle property? Because an exterior angle is given to you and one interior angle is given to you and other interior angle we need to find. And this type of question in type 1 question you have already done this. So here exactly the same we will do here also exterior angle property. So here you will use the exterior angle property which is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles. So here you will write exterior angle which is angle 4, sum means plus, two opposite interior angles as angle 1 and angle 2, put the values of these angles here. Now 
120 minus 60, it is of plus sign. When you will shift to the other side, it will become minus 60. So here, 120 minus 60, that is 60. Here you got the value of x. That is what we were talking about. So here you will write here, what? You will write here 60 degree, right? Because you found the value of x. Now, the question is about how to find the value of y. Now, how you can find the value of this angle you will think that which property now you can apply because exterior angle property to you have already used now which second property you can use here now two properties are left one is angles on a straight line and other property which is left out that is angle sum property so which property you will use here yes you will use any of these two property for solving the value of y so this is up to you now which property you want to use i have used here angle sum property of triangle right so here sum of all angles of triangle is equals to 180 degree so here you will write angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 why i'm writing here these angles because in a triangles angle 1 2 and 3 are given right so here you will write angle 1, angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree, which is equal to angle 1. What is the value of angle 1? That is 60, angle 2 as 60 and angle 3 as y is equal to 180 degree. So here 60 plus 60 that is 120 plus y is equal to 180 degree. So now here you can see you will keep this y as it is on its place is equals to 180 and 120 will be shifted to the other side it will change its sign that will be minus 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree so here you got the value of x and y that is x is 60 and also y is also equals to 60 degree right so now move to the example number two now first of all they have given to you a figure so first step is to read the figure which is given to you here you can see p q r s this is a shape of triangle and here q r ray has been extended to the point s that mean it is making an exterior angle outside right so here what you will do again now here you need to find the value of x so what will you do here which property you can use here yes x and y here again we need to find what will you do here which property you can use here so we can use any property out of those three we just have done so here you can see angle one i have given the numbering to the figure that is angle one two three and four in any way you can give the numbering right so here you need to find the value of x and y one exterior angle one interior angle we need to find how you can find this value so there are many way to solve this question but the easy way we will absorb now right so here you can see one angle and two angle is given you can apply here angle on a straight line yes or which is another way if you will think like we have to apply the exterior angle property but we can't apply here why we can't apply because for finding this for applying this property we need at least two angles right but here exterior angle is not given to us also one interior angle is also not given to us so that means only one angle is given so we can't apply here exterior angle property until or unless we have this angle or this angle right so that means we are left with two properties. One is angle sum property of a triangle and other is angles on a straight line. So which property you want to apply first? That is up to you. So here I am applying the property of angles on a straight line first. Right? So here I will apply here angle sum property on a straight line. So sum of all angles on a straight line will always add up to 180 degree. That is angle 1 plus angle 2 is equals to 180 degree. So now x is equals to x plus 180 uh, 110 is equals to 180 degree and you will shift 110 to the other side it will change its sign it will become minus 110 and it will become 70 degree 
it will become 70 degree. So here you will write also the value of x as 70 degree, right? So now you found the value of angle 1. Now it's up to you how you will find the value of y. Either you can apply exterior angle property because for finding exterior angle for applying this property at least you should have ang two angles. So here you got the two angles and other angle you can find. Also you can apply the second property that is angle sum property of a triangle, right? So here I have applied here exterior angle property. So here you will write here exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. And you will write here exterior angle that is angle 1, sum means plus, two opposite interior angles means angle 3 and angle 4. You will put the values of these angles here. You will shift 40 to the other side. It will become minus. And here you got the value of y. Or also you can write here angle 4 is equal to 30. Right? So here you got the values of x and y. x as 70 degree and y is equal to 30 degree. So students, these were very easy example and you can solve many more examples by just using these three properties properties and we have already sent to you the worksheets in your snap homework and now i hope you all of you are able to do the related worksheet and by just using these three properties right so students before starting the worksheet please go through this youtube links trust me it will help you for solving the worksheet and many more questions related to this type thank you